So Chroma, right? It's kind of the dragon-esque Warframe. Has a tail. Big armor plates. Looks pretty fearsome. Kind of lumbering. Not too fast. If we look at the mods I put on Chroma. This one with steel charge, because that gives the most points. And 60% melee damage. The abilities on Chroma need a lot of duration to make them more effective. So I have Primed Continuity and Constitution. Streamline. Stretch for power range. Uh, rush, but we could also put. I think we should put maybe stamina mod. Um, stamina recharge. Quick rest. Would also be nice. Uh, I've got my torpedo with Berserk and Fury, so I can copter with that and keep the stamina up. Quick, quick rest, but use that for speed. If we look at Chroma's abilities, Spectral Stream does less damage than a melee weapon at about melee weapon range. So it's kind of uh, it's not an ability you want to use if you're being serious but it's kind of cool looking to breathe elements on people in a cone. Then Elemental Ward is, uh, you keep this up all the time, it will give you different effects depending on the element you choose for Chroma, which are Ice, Fire, Lightning, and Toxic. Uh, most people think the Ice is the most effective, it gives you Armor, Damage Multiplier. And if they hit you, they will be chilled. So keep that up, and then with the duration mod, it should be easier to have up all the time. Uh, Vex armor will give you buffs when you're hit. When your shields are hit, your armor grows. When your health is hit, weapon damage increases. So if you're going into a, a really tough encounter within the next 40 seconds or so, hit Vex armor and you're probably going to survive and take out all the enemies but it's a timing thing you need to know beforehand if there's a bunch of tough enemies in a group or something then effigy it uh, is a stationary sentry so it's very situational it uses up a lot of energy You can get more credits with it out, but it's not too effective in what missions are in Warframe. It just uh, doesn't doesn't do a lot because it's stationary. I really think they should make it follow you around, and that would make it a much better ability. But it's supposed to give buffs to your teammates. I suppose that's the sp speed increase. No, the, the armor reduction speed increase is yourself because you shed your armor. You're faster. But armor reduction speed is hardly ever good. Hey, getting a speed increase 
with a stationary, uh, an ability that stays stationary is kind of ironic. It doesn't synergize very well. That's how it is. Strengthens nearby allies is what it says. If you place it down while retreating, I suppose, but you hardly retreat from a large group of enemies. You just power on through most of the time. That's Chroma, a, a usable Warframe. It's not going to be requested a lot for the toughest missions. But that's just how it is. I'll do a quick run on E Prime. Show you how it works. I often go to E Prime to if I want to farm Kubro mods. Because you go around and hunt dens. Here. Leave no one standing. So the torpedo is currently the fastest melee weapon in the game. So we'll put up our bonus award here. Use our spectral stream screen. I've got Berserk on here, so whenever I get a crit, it will give me a melee speed buff. But just running around on Chroma. Seems very crawling pace. <clears throat> the elemental ward will also work on teammates, but only if they're right next to you, which doesn't happen a lot. strike on your melee weapon. That will give Chroma a lot more sustain. place where I can use effigy. In some sort of effective manner, but I just don't know if that exists. is so fast that you can almost copter on the ground.
will be cleansed. Sometimes dirty, you might need to be cleansed. The new Loka will send tons of Exodus ancients after you. Uh, you'll try to get to a better position, but you can't. So you pop your puffs and you try to funnel them down this hallway. Might have been a nice place to use effigy, but. So even though this is a lower level mission, these parasitic Eximus are build the combo meter up very fast with enough, with enough stacks of berserk. purely with toxic damage tank who drains energy oh, they all drain energy it's very nice Sometimes coptering will just throw you miles away. So there you have it, some chroma, chroma gameplay. Uh, using its abilities and mods, you could probably form up some kind of super build with corrupted mods or something like that, but this is the basic get you through the mission sort of stuff. So. 
There you have it.